Hi, everybody. It's Mark Rushton of uh, markrushtongallery.com. It is Saturday, uh, November 25th, 2023. It's snowed today here a little bit. Supposed to get one to three inches of snow overnight. And well, I'm in for the night. And uh, so hopefully I can get this video turned around here. I'm, 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 I'm normally used to live streaming, but in this case, I'm recording it live and and um, try to make them a little shorter and everything like that. So I have been painting st stamps for my late father's. Uh, I, 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 I can barely call it a collection. It's, it was a book. Uh, well, he's got some stamps he collected. And but then he's got all these stamps that he just sort of tore off and threw into jars, and uh, they have their qualities too. And uh, so this this little ten cent airmail stamp that was canceled uh, by me, you know, uh, uh, photographing it, printing it off in the manner in which I do. Now we're going to throw a little bit of ink on here, and then probably what I'll do after it dries is scan it, and then throw it in the Mark Rushton Gallery, probably as a tote bag most likely as a tote bag and uh if that happens then it'll you know we'll have a little link in the description here uh let's get started right check out all the different things i'm picking yeah i've got a i'm oh look at this I'm bleeding already uh i've got a mailing list at markrushtongallery.com you can sign up for a uh, sunday morning is when the the usually every week the the it goes out and let's let's spread a little blood here yes why not it's going to be one color guys bleed area is going to be everywhere look at this too much blood on this soil here look at this this is great I'm gonna dress it up. Don't don't think I'm just for a second. I'm gonna stick it just like that. No, 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 no. You know what? We've got our little. Uh... Oh yeah. We got our little secret weapons here. They're called baby wipes. And. Uh... You have to act quick here because, uh, you know. Then, you know, as the stuff dries, it just loses its uh, ability to. Well, no, no, we're still pulling, still pulling ink out of the fibers here. This is great. I was thinking maybe a flame red. I was thinking about maybe throwing a little flame orange here in the middle. Maybe, maybe yellow. Yellow's not going to do it. Flame orange. I, you know, it's only going to be one color, but I think we're going to do two colors here. I like this. This is great. This, this flame red, which I've, I've kind of diluted a bit. And then of course, uh, getting lucky with regard to the the fibers here showing up in my reductive technique, and then of course, my God, look at this! It's it's the, this this stamp almost looks like it's a complete uh, deflector of the. Uh, it's not completely though, but it look it because of the lo-fi nature of it, it looks like the it completely deflected the stamp the the cancellation of the stamp. If you look at the stamp, I mean, it's it's you know any USPS employee would say that's can't you can't use that again. But and then this, of course, you know, it looks like a flag, and because uh, that's the way they do things. Get that iconography. Make sure that you see that flame orange here in the middle, going in, going in, guys. Let's be sloppy about it, too. Let's just, you know. Let's just overdo it. All right. 
That's good. That's great. I do love the flame orange, but what if I threw a little primary yellow on there? I don't think anything is going to happen, but we well, never know. If there's any time to experiment, it is when the camera is moving. It's not really going to change it that, that much. That's okay. I like how that stamp's got like a bigger aura around it and in it and through it. That's pretty good. Uh, you know, that's all right. That's going to be good. So what I'll do here, let this buff this out a little bit here. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is once this is dry, then I'm going to go and scan it, high resolution. And then I'm going to come at it with a big square crop, right? So we get... You know, all of this, obviously, and as much of that cancellation as possible. Then we're going to throw that on the tote bag. It'll be available in the description. Kind of cool. You can go around and carry your U.S. airmail 10 cent stamp. Transformed. Transformed by Mark Rushton of the Mark Rushton Gallery. That is it for this evening. Thanks for hanging out with me. And uh, listen, um, you want something done in this sort of style? Like maybe you get a photograph of somebody, modern, old, whatever, and you want maybe a photo of your car or something like that. Check out some of my other videos where I've done uh, where I've done uh, uh, picture pictures of cars that I've modified like this. You know, I can put them on tote bag. We can put them on. We can put them in the metal prints, you know, whatever you want. You know, just get a hold of me through the commission link of markrushtongallery.com. You'd be surprised how uh, reasonable I am. Talk to you later. <laughs>